Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with a quick video. Today what we're going to be doing is telling you, or showing you rather, how to speed up your iPhone by quitting RAM and getting rid of all that stuff and doing another couple of things you can control in settings. So first of all, thumbs up if you enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe for some more cool content. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do is just turn on the phone, unlock it, go straight into settings down here. And what we're going to be focusing on today is coming down to general, clicking on that, First thing we're going to want to do for clearing the RAM is clicking on Siri, coming up here and making sure we turn off Siri. So turn off Siri, that's all done. Okay, so now you can see we've loaded the app store here and that's um, all up and running. If we do the clean the RAM, then obviously if we double click here, you can see we've got these apps open. And if we click on the app store again, go onto the home screen, what you need to do is hold down the power button up the top here, come down, press the home button, sorry, the power button, until we get the power offs, slides power off. Then we're going to hold down the home button, so you can see I'm not doing anything else. Just hold down the home button, and then hopefully, yep, there we go. So now that's cleaned the RAM. So if I go onto the App Store again, so double click, go into Multitask and click on it again, it should load it. You see now it's loading it again. You can see up here, you see the little loading icon going on, on the top left. That means that it's having to reload the app and fetch new data and everything and sort out the app for you to work. So that's what we've done there is just quickly cleaned the RAM. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened to the white balance there. It did suddenly change. So I'm just going to go on to straight on to the second thing we're going to talk to you today about. And that is just basically going to be to reduce motion. So you might already know how to do these things. But if you don't, this is just a quick tutorial. So if we double click, you see this all, this nice effect. And then clicking in and then clicking back to the home button. You can see those effects there. So come into settings like this. Again, we're going to want to come down and scroll down to general, if I can find it. Okay, so we're going to select general here. But we're going to want to come down into accessibility. So click on this like this. So what we're going to want to do is come down and we're going to be using these two toggles here, increase contrast and reduce motion. So for the first example, we're going to be using reduce motion. So if we click on reduce motion and then at the top here, you can see all we've got is a little slider, a little toggle. We're going to select that, click reduce motion and it's basically just going to change the transitions that we've got on the phone. Okay, so now we've got that selected, you can see the difference. If I click the home button, it just has this nice little blur that's going on. So double click, a little blur, crisp or whatever come back to the home screen, blur. It's how to change the um, transparency and the contrast. So down here in the dock, you can kind of see kind of transparent going on at the bottom here. Then if I pull down the notifications drawer, you can see at the moment it's kind of transparent. We can kind of see through it a little bit, especially up here at the top. You can kind of see through it and then unlock it. And then if we slide to the left to do our passcode, you can kind of see that is slightly transparent. So you see it kind of has this nice little blur, but you can still kind of see what's going on through it between the buttons and stuff. So if we unlock the phone, come straight down into settings again, as we wanted to do before, going down, finding general, coming to accessibility here, increase contrast. So at the top here, we've got three different selections, but all we're interested in is reduced transparency at the top here. So what we can do is we're going to slide that toggle up the top and that's going to be reducing the transparency for us. So it basically means it's going to be having to load less um, stuff on your screen, so RAM, whatever's being used up for all these fancy transitions and stuff. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've just quickly toggled that. And if we go back onto the home screen, we've still got that effect that we had on earlier. And now if we look down in the dock here, Okay, so down in the dock here, you can probably tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, but down here in the dock, it is definitely just a solid grey bar, which we can see at the bottom down here. And then if we come to notifications, this is like the main difference. We scroll it down, you can see that's just a complete solid black. Okay, so that is basically all there is to reduce transparency. And then just to give you a little example, we have the lock screen. If we lock it, and then of course we unlock it, if we slide to the right, as you can see, there is no transparency going on here. So before we could see a little bit of detail through these little circles here but at the moment we can't see anything. The last thing we can do to the phone to help speed it up is download this app. You can see my thumb over here, this battery saver. Battery saver, manage battery life. Uh, this is what the pictures look like that you wanna be trying to install. It needs to look like this. Make sure you've got this version here. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do, once you've downloaded it and installed it, come down here, click open, or open from the home page or whatever. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be greeted by this screen here. Okay, so first of all, you're greeted by this screen here. For this video, we're going to be focusing on these two toggles down here, memory and disk. So first of all, just come down to memory. It tells you how much usage or um, storage or whatever you've got left on your phone. So at the moment, I've got 2% memory free. So all we're going to do now is come down and click boost memory. And then you can see it's going to do this cool little effect, cleaning the phone, but we're going to get this little 100% and then 94% memory boosted. 
Cool, and then as a, as you can see down here, this is a free version, so we've got adverts. And now you can see we've got 65% memory, so that's really good. It kind of gives your phone, if it's kind of lagging a bit, just do this, it helps speed up a little bit. Then what we can do is come down to disk, and this is how much like available space we've got on the phone. If we come down here, all you have to do is click clean junk as per usual, click OK, this is just telling you you're gonna get some notification. Click OK, and then what it's gonna do is clean your junk. So we get this little effect down here with the dustbin and hopefully this is going to kind of speed up the phone a little bit so as you can see 26 megabyte uh, megabytes cleaned and then come back we've still only got one gig but it might help speed up your phone a little bit okay guys so we have been tech genie this has been like uh, three or four simple tips to help speed up your phone we showed you how to clean the ram how to reduce motion uh, reduce contrast basically make it um, less transparent and then of course the app so just a quick three minute video hopefully probably a little bit longer quick video just telling you how to speed up your iphone so if you did enjoy it make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one guys live long and prosper